Welcome to the AACS Daily News for February 3rd, 2017. Attleboro High School promotes itself as being a comprehensive high school featuring a variety of academic and vocational opportunities. Several students from the school's automotive class have been chosen to participate in the Mass Auto Dealers competition this weekend. We spoke with teacher Bob Vinskis to learn more. I'm an uh, automotive instructor here at Attleboro High School. We have a couple of students uh, competing in the Mass Auto Dealers competition this weekend. Um, this is a competition that they have for all vocational schools where some of the best of the best students get to compete against each other. So they, uh, they went out and took a written test with a bunch of their other peers and they've qualified. So right now they're going to move on to the hands-on part of the competition where they get to work in real life situations where they're diagnosing vehicles with scan tools. They're actually doing some hands-on measuring and stuff like that that's technical to their field. My name is Matt Drew. I'm a senior at AHS. I'm in the automotive program. I got into the competition, the mass spec competition, through my teacher. He said he passed out a slip and I signed my name and we got to the competition. It was just a written test. It was kind of boring at first, but as we kept going, you know, stuff got harder and stuff we didn't know, but me and Noah, we were tested on like basic automotive um, structures, like like what a mass airflow sensor is and how does it work. And a lot of the tests with sensors, um, but there's like a whole bunch of alignment stuff on the test. And the competition itself, the next part is like, we're actually going to be hands-on working on a car, trying to fix a problem. We don't know what the problem is obviously, so it's gonna be hard. Well, for many years, Attleboro has been renowned for its vocational program, uh, which is now referred to as career and technical education. And uh, it really is one of the hidden gems of, uh, of the high school experience. Uh, as a comprehensive high school, our students have the opportunity to take advanced placement courses, honors courses, anything that prepares them for college and career but the comprehensive aspect of the curricular offerings here at Attleboro give our students real life experiences. And I think one of the things that is uh, sometimes lost in the translation with our career and technical education programs are the practical applications of the curricular courses. Uh, there is so much math and science that is uh, factored into you know, our automotive classes, our engineering classes, carpentry, electrical. Uh, our students really have to be able to be well versed in their general education classes in order to be successful in career and technical education. What we do here is we try to build on what their confidence already is. So we show them they can do a lot of the things that are going to be thrown at them. Um, but these two, these two students definitely went out on their own and you know, they, they're interested, they're, they're inquisitive about some things and they definitely do their research at home. They don't just sit on the, on the couch and watch TV. They go out and you know, work with their hands. They, they research things on the internet and they're familiar with the vehicles that are out there in the technology. So the stuff that comes in the shop here that we work on prepares them a little bit because they don't know what's coming in the door every day. And when we do get something different and we make sure that they become familiar with it. Our teachers go above and beyond to think about this type of practical experience, this relevant experience that takes place outside of the school day, outside of the classroom, that also gives our students the opportunity to be recognized potentially for scholarships or for state or national awards. And to this day, I hear uh, powerful stories about how uh, teachers in the CTE department uh, inspired a lot of the uh, strong businessmen and women uh, who are still thriving in Attleboro today. After this competition that we're going to this weekend, we can go to New York if we win. And that one, you can get pretty good scholarships. And my plans for the future are mechanical engineering, my dad, he's an electrical engineer and I always wonder what he's doing and I always want to be able to do the stuff that he does and he works on cars too so it, it just kind of all, like that's why I'm here. He works on cars and that's how I got hooked on cars and if you enjoy doing something you should do it and just keep on working hard at it. You'll get somewhere. Stay tuned next week to find out how Attleboro did in the competition. That's it for today's update. You can watch all of our content in high definition on our website, doubleacs.com, and on the AACS mobile app for iOS and Android devices. For AACS News, I'm Austin Ricketts.